Right, I think we are live. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you very much for joining uh, me this afternoon. I'm going to be doing a three-player playthrough of Concordia Digital. Uh, I'm going to be joined by two people today. Tom Heath is going to join in me, uh, and he's actually dual streaming this over to his channel. Um, and also Alex is joining me. Alex is one of my supporters joining us from the west coast of America. Uh, so it's very early in the morning for Alex. He's got a cup of coffee uh, already, and uh, yeah, we're going to be diving in. Now, as I say, Tom is dual streaming this himself over on his channel. Um, and yeah, my audio is going to be going out on his channel. His audio is going to be going out on my channel. You get the, you get the idea. We've, we've done these sorts of things before. Big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters, basically taking the afternoon off in order to produce this content for you. So yeah, thank you very much for your support. And if you like the content that I create, you can support me at patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. And the link should appear in the chat, but it's not appearing does work sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. Right, I'm going to head on over to Discord now and see if Tom and Alex are there. Where's the Discord button? There's the Discord button. And if I click that button there, then I am here. So Tom is still muted, but Alex is here. Good morning. I was just saying to people, you're, it's, it's early morning there. It's seven o'clock in the morning there, isn't it? Are you normally up at seven o'clock in the morning to play Concordia with strange people in the UK? <laughs> a 10 week old baby, but not to play Concordia, unfortunately. Right, okay. Well, thank you very much for, for, for joining me today. Um, yeah, I, I didn't have your audio on for the start of that, so apologies for that, but hopefully, hopefully, uh, hopefully people can, can hear you now. And we're just waiting on, on Tom joining us. Hello. While, oh, Tom is here. Oh, great. Here we go. So hopefully Hi, people listening can yeah. hear, uh, can hear both of you. Let us know. Is it all coming through? Okay. I think so. Yeah. Hopefully your audience can hear me and I think my yeah, audience hopefully. can hear you. Excellent. Excellent. So, um, yeah, now we are all roughly about the same skill level with Concordia, I think in the, we all know how to play the game, but none of us are actually amazingly good at it. Well, that'll be good then. Yeah, yeah. I, th I, th I think. Okay, so we're going to jump in. Uh, we, we're going to be playing on the Byzantium map today, which is, I think, for three to five players. So because we're a three-player game, the map is going to be quite open. And we're going to be playing with the Salsa variant. Let me go into it, and hopefully the Salsa screen will pop up. And it will remind us all what the rules for salsa actually are. Here we go. Right, so salsa. There's two parts to the salsa expansion. The first one is salt. Uh, so salt is a wild card. It can be used to substitute any other type of good uh, when paying a cost or when using the Mercator action. Cities can produce salt, so there are some salt cities on the board, but the little bonus markers, which I think in this game are, are flags, um, salt will never appear on a province bonus marker. Um, as far as scoring goes, Mercurius, which I think is the one for different production, that doesn't score for salt, but there is a Minerva card that will score for salt. Um, right, that's the salt window, so don't show me that again, we're good. Tick. And now we have the Forum tableau, so the other part of the Salsa expansion is the Forum. Basically there are these, uh, I think it's four Forum cards, and there's two types of them. The blue ones and the green ones. Blue ones are constant abilities, so once you've bought one of those you've got an ability for the rest of the game. Uh, and the green ones are one-off abilities that when you use them they are they are discarded. At the start of the game we're each going to get two random patricians, which are the blue cards. Um, we're each going to choose one of those, that's our permanent ability for the rest of the game. And then all of the rest of them get shuffled in and we get to take a new forum card whenever we do the tribune action. Right, okay, that's that. So, here are my two starting forum cards. Um, now, hopefully, yeah, I can move my mouse over them and it'll tell me. When I play the Prefect card, one bonus good can be sold immediately. Which one's the Prefect card? <laughs> I can't remember what the Prefect card is. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. And when you play the Prefect card, I'm producing goods to take that. Right, I'm going to have that one. We'll see what it is. So presumably each of you two has just had a pop-up. Uh, the salt help window keeps popping up on mine. Yeah, okay. mine too. I'm going to have to <laughs> disable that. Am I supposed to click? Am I supposed to confirm? I think you need to confirm it, yeah. Okay, confirm that's what I didn't do. Away. I just kept minimising it. 
right. Yep, the, we know our forum works. Oh, okay. There we go. There's my choice. Okay. I get ah, it. Ah, right. So my forum cards are down at the bottom of the screen. There you go. Okay. Uh. That's it. So the prefect card is the one where you produce or you reactivate all of the provinces to take cards. So my special ability is whenever I play the prefect card, if I produce goods, I get the money from the bonus marker. Okay, presumably as well as the good, I think. So I get a little bit more money for playing the prefect card. That's what I've chosen. Now, how can I see what you two have chosen? Mm, I'm, I'm just trying to... Can. The forum tableau does not open to tell me what the cards do. Where's the forum tableau? Uh, if I've pressed the help in the corner to yeah, take me so to the, the forum instructions. The forum tableau and won't tableau be open. there... So have you got a choice of two forum cards on screen? Yeah, but I'm yeah, just so not if you sure click what on it, one of it... them does. Oh, okay. But the other one doesn't. I think I know what one of them does. Okay. <laughs> I think if you click on it, it tells you. Yeah, oh, it, is, do. it doesn't choose. Okay, there we no, go. Yeah, you click That's on better. it and it tells you what it does. I was terrified to click on it and it would... <laughs> it was the same. <laughs> Otherwise, it's guess the icon. I think it's chosen me as the start player. Try that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Peep on <pulls. laughs> Oh, it's my turn. Oh, oh okay. it can't be me that the start player, because I've got <laughs> seven. <laughs> yeah, so Alex is the start player. So yeah, how can oh. I see what forum card you've got? Um, I I can. Good uh, question. We now have the display. Logs. Um, I can just tell you what mine is. I don't okay. know how to see it. I'm um, so yep. I have, yeah. Mine is when I play a senator card, I can replace additional goods with any type of good. Oh. Okay. So hopefully that will come in handy because mm -hmm. everything's expensive. Okay. Okay. Tom, Let's what have you got? Here. I've got uh, Titus Valerius. When I when I tribune, I can swap a good for assault. Right. Okay. And for those people watching my stream, let me know how the audio levels are between me and my guests, because I can I can boost their volume if they're a bit quiet. Just let me know in the chat how the audio levels are. Uh, but other than that, Alex, it's it's your turn. So if you talk us through what you're doing. Sure. Um, I don't know how uh, strategically sound this will be, but I'm going to go architect first, and we're going to start moving around here. I, I um, think the architect is a good, strong that's opening a good, move, isn't good, it? Yeah. Let's go this way. Apparently, I'm a little quiet. I can't boost myself. <laughs> my my volume levels are as high as they can go. Um, but what I can do is I can reduce the volume levels of my guests. So if you if you turn it up a bit, then hopefully that'll be better. Um, and I built a built-in. Oh gosh, and Sira, and I don't know how to say that. Uh, yep, and Syrah, that'll do. <laughs> that'll do, yeah. We pronounce it as it's written. Great. Oh no, it's me. Or am I, yeah, I do it? like the way in the digital version that it actually tells you what the cost is, so I don't have to do maths in my head. Yeah. Because right. five times two is really hard. I, I can't. I can't do that. I have to. I have to use a calculator for that. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, I always think architect is is a is a standard opening move. I remember right. some games I I play the senator first to get some extra cards, but then I don't actually have then then the other players are starting producing stuff, and I'm like, oh, I don't have anything on the board. Um, so yeah, uh, okay. Space Lord of seventy five is in my chat saying, which live stream do you watch? Both of them. What you need yeah. to do yeah. is have to get all of the facts. Yeah, or, yeah. <laughs> both <laughs> windows open. Um, just don't have the audio from both streams. That might get okay, a bit, bit weird. I'm going to try and do some building. Let's yep. see how that goes. I've built in Apollonia and Thomas. Yeah, I think if I don't... Um, I think if I don't architect to start with... I think I've got to architect to start with. 
Oh, we start with assault as well. Right. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Oh. oh. Yeah, that, I didn't notice that. <laughs> yeah, got an extra assault. Uh, so, yeah, so the forum cards that are available, if you discard either, if you get back either four, six, eight, or ten, um, then you can take that. But it doesn't mean the ten one is any better. I think they've, they've just come out. But they slide they just, down they as, as they're taken, I think, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I am going to architect as well. I should have been thinking about what I was going to do, and I, I haven't been thinking about what I was going to do. Um, but based on what's happening here, so Tom's built in both Apollonia and Thomas. Yeah, so trick is, you're... build in the city that's closest to your own name. <laughs> game, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've just got a message pop up saying it's my turn. Yes, I know it's my turn. I'm actually in the game <laughs> playing it. Um, but if you go in an area that another person is going to produce in, that's a good move from what I hear. Um, but I only have one brick. So what's the if, if you're building in two cities at the start of the game, one of them must be a brick city because that only costs wheat to build in. Wheat. Yeah. yeah. Or you, you could use your salt as oh, the that's other brick the if you, yeah. you want to be wasteful. Got the salt if you want to be wasteful. Yeah. No, I think I think what I'm. It's a low do... value thing, but you can build in two places right at the start. Yeah. So if I move this little fella to here. And if I move the boat to here, then I think I can build in both here and here. There we go. So I'm just following you two around. <laughs> right. All right, here we go. Your all-important second turn. I know. I've already put myself in a little bit of a pickle because I don't have any money. I spent it all in the salt city. Uh -huh. So that's great. Um, let's do... Well, if you were to prefect and produce, you would get a salt. That's true. I would get a salt. And then I would get, maybe... I would get a brick. You'd get a salt and you'd get a wheat. And salt is worth seven, I think, isn't it? If you trade it. Oh, is it? I don't I know. So. I never... To... Okay, that sounds good. Let's just see if we've got Produce. some uh... salsa. Where is it? Uh, no, cloth is worth seven. Salt can substitute any other good. So effectively, it's worth seven because you can sell it as if it was. I see. As okay. If it was cloth. I think so. Right. I think that's how that works. I guess we'll find out. Right. That's well, like my turn. Oh, that's, that's news. Um, yeah, when I logged into this game yesterday to create it, I got a notification that I have an existing game that's 183 days old. <laughs> I'd obviously started a game and not finished it, so <laughs> thanks for that notification. Okay, I'm prefecting as well. You're prefecting as well. Nice. Wow. So I got I got a brick from Alex and a and a metal from Tom. We like that. Now if only I had another architect card, I could play it again. But I might do some senatoring. Let's have a look. Yeah. I do like that extra Mercator card. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that's good. I'm gonna I'm gonna senator. And I'm going to buy the Mercator. Uh, do I click both cards? I think I do click both cards. So I buy the Mercator and I will buy the... Hmm. It's going to cost me a lot if I buy the Smith card as well, because that's going to be my brick, my tools, my wine, and two others, which is going to be very expensive. Um, I think I might buy the colonist card as well. Let's see if I can afford all of this. Pay for that. Yeah, done it. Bought two cards. That's my go dump. Wow, my turn already? Mm. So fast. Um, probably should have been thinking about what I... 
we'll be doing. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, you can plan a little bit ahead, but if you were planning to buy any cards from the offer, then my movers just mess that up. Yeah, yeah, that Mercator card was really nice, but mm. I guess we'll just use the weaker Mercator. <laughs> Which good do I want to sell? So when I do a trade, uh -huh. it does it doesn't give an option for salt. Like if I wanted to, oh, you can't buy or sell salt, can you? I thought you could. I thought, didn't I just say it was worth seven? Did I lie? <laughs> I, think I don't you think you can buy it. Buy I don't know it. if you can sell it. I thought you could sell it. Let me just go into the rules again, see what it says about. Um, modules DLC, salsa, goods, salt. Salt can substitute any other good, so you can't purchase salt, but when you mm. have it, you can use it as a substitute for any other good when paying for a construction or using the Mercator action. So you can sell it as if it was cloth, but you can never purchase salt. Oh, okay. Oh, so, I see. I have so, to yeah. um increase the value of what I'm selling and the salt icon appears. Oh, okay, right. So if I sell a cloth, I only have one, and I increase the value to two, then it'll, um, a salt will appear. So let's, Okay. we'll try that. Just to get some money here. Um, I don't wanna buy anything. Okay. So I sold a cloth and a salt, and then I just bought a stone just to get some money. Right. Some tools. Ready to go. Got lots of money now. I think... I think I'll Senator. Oh, what can I afford, though? I... Let me have a think about what I might want to do. Because you can tribute in at any time, but the later you do it, generally the better. The better. Yeah, got Especially more with these new forum cards. Now, how do I see how many cards are in my discard pile? I uh, can never remember how you see it. I think in the not... bottom left, maybe? All yeah. Those icons there. Yeah, actually, yeah, there's an icon that basically will show me two greyed out cards, which are the cards that are in my discard pile. So I think I'm going to keep that view on. I quite like that view. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So though those the architect and the senator, I know they are the ones in my in my discard pile. Oh, so Tom, okay. you took a couple of cards from the offer, did you? Yes. I've been buying cards. Yeah, I can't afford any cards, so I won't be doing that. Um, so it's probably going to be the Makata, even though I know you two will probably copy it. I don't want a Prefect, because I get a bonus if I was to take the goods from a particular region, and I think that's right. Let me just have a look again. When you play the Prefect card, when producing goods, take the money from the bonus marker. Oh, okay, so yeah, so I'd, I'd still get the money. Actually, I could produce goods, but yeah, don't know whether I want to, because you two would get more than I do. So I think I'm probably going to, I mean, I did take the colonist. Colonist is a good way of getting money. I think I'm going to play the super Mercator. So I get five money, um, which means I've got eight money, and I probably want to... Just buy two wheat. Yeah, that's what we want to do. Um, so I haven't got any money left, so I can't do anything else. <laughs> so yeah, that's me, that's me done. How do I how do I skip my second? There you go. Done. I just bought two wheat. I have a cunning plan. Okay. Let's... So 
So all of the forum cards on offer right now are all the blue ones, which are the permanent special abilities. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I'll go for Senator. Buy some uh -huh. cards. I feel like I'm lacking in the card game here. Um. All right. I'll go Senator and. I'm going to go for the Mason and another Architect, which is probably going to use up all my goods. Let's see if that'll work. You got the Mason, which is going to give you points for the Brick Cities. Yeah. I'm going to let that kind of dictate how what I do. Yeah. Because I have no clear direction of what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> it, this is one of those games where the, the variability is just the cities at the start of the game and even they're seeded in some way but that right. variability can cause games to be massively different in terms of what cities are where um, and the layout of the different production buildings and everything else right what's tom gonna do he's got some salt he's got too many i'm suspecting not a not lot much. no not many cards in to be tributed I probably want. So if I'm if I'm understanding this right, we've all you, you you've got three cards in your discard pile. So if you played the Tribune now, that would be your fourth card. You'd get four cards. You'd take back four cards, and therefore you would get you would get one of the forum cards. Oh yeah, that counts, doesn't it? Oh, so I, think, I would get I one. I think the Tribune card counts. And you'd get one money. I yeah. might be better off doing that actually than taking a a bit of a rubbish turn. Hmm. I think I'll do that. Uh, so if I... I think the forum no, cards... That's not a bad forum tile as well, get some yeah, more storage space. I think the forum cards encourage you to tribune more often. Yeah, rather than just saving up to get the most money. Yeah. Oh, and I could, pl I could place a colonist because I just gained assault. Uh, but a colonist costs two things. I've got my starting salt still. I'm so only seeing you that, having is, one salt. Is that my... I thought I turned a good into a salt. I've got two in front of me. Maybe it's because my turn hasn't happened yet. Okay. My turn all happens in one big go. So I... It says I can exchange... Yeah, I thought I exchanged a good for a salt. I seem to have gained a salt. Okay. Which is nice. But, uh, okay, so it would be expensive. It would be two salt, but I could. Mm, it's interesting. I'm only seeing you having one salt, but. Yeah, so I've just do it, do it see what happens. Unit. Undo it if it doesn't work. Because, yeah, I've not played with the Salsa DLC yet, so. I think I'll I'll stick with the resources, I think. It's very tempting to put another colonist out, just to get some more movement. But that's pretty much the only resources I have. There you go. So it's just told me you've converted a brick into a salt. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, I had a brick. Same. <laughs> oh. So how have you converted? Now you've got two salt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what's just happened? I'm confused. Uh, oh, is this your special my ability? Starting forum, my starting forum thing is when I tribune, I can exchange something for a salt. There you go. But I must, I must have missed that I had a brick. I thought right. I only had the salt. It, it wasn't showing on my screen. <laughs> oh, I gained the brick. I got the brick from the, the, the forum card I just gained was get four extra storage spaces and oh. a brick. Right. There's where it came from. That's, That's what's right. happened. Okay, so yeah. you were seeing that. We weren't seeing that. Got it. Right, well, now you've taken that forum card that I didn't want. <laughs> I could now take the next one, which I also don't really want. It means I could sell. But yeah, I'm in the same position as you. I uh, I think my other actions are relatively weak. Yeah. So I, I think I am going to Tribune as well. Um, 
so yeah, let's um, let let's tribune. So I've got four cards in my discard pile, which means I get a bit of money. I take that one. Um, but I am going to place a colonist because I do have the goods. Now, which type of colonist do we want to play? Uh, I think it's going to be boats on this map. There you go. Done. Clang. I do find it interesting that this game has a... When, when the turn returns back to the start player, you get that clang noise. But as, as, I, as far as I understand it, there's no need to track who the start player is. Because this isn't a game where all the players have the same number of turns. So I just find it unusual. Let's see. I have money and no resources, so... <laughs> I feel like I have either or. I either have resources and no money, or money and no resources. Um, I may... I'm just going to tribute as well. Okay. And you'll get the that card, whatever that one does. Um, let's see. Every turn, one single good may be sold for two less than normal. All right, so you get a free action every turn to sell a good for less money. Oh, it's a bonus action. Okay. Mm. For two. Okay, so I guess if I'm desperate for some. Yeah. Money. Confirm. Okay. Ooh. I don't feel like I've got a lot, but I have got two salt. You got it's got two salt. Something. It's got to count for something, right? Yeah. I should build somewhere. Or Makata, sell it. 14 money. Yeah. You get a couple of bricks. I don't know if that would buy me into a couple of cities. So the salt cities, yeah. which are new in this expansion, um, they cost a metal and a wine to build. Gosh, that's that strange. expensive. But they, um, they're a bit, they're a bit far from. I've gone away from the salt cities. You have, man wise. Oh yeah, you can't get to them from the sea. I don't think. Oh, uh, there Delphi... is one right at the bottom, but it's no. quite far away. Oh, Alexandria. Oh, yes. Yeah, that can be gotten to from the sea. Will this work out? I will architect. Doesn't seem the best. Where's your building? Use of things. <laughs> but who wants the best use of things? <laughs> Just use the things. I'm going to build bricks. Oh, I need to end my turn as well. Let's see where he's going. Bang. Oh, right. You're using the two salt to build there and there. Yeah. It's using the salt as very cheap things. But... Very, very cheap things. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. So I'm still looking at possibly... I mean, I could prefect. To be honest, I was ruling out doing a prefect, but I remember when I played against the AI, it was doing a prefect in just a completely remote region. So nobody got anything, but it got the um, it got the production. The bonus, yeah. Yeah, it got the bonus. And yeah, I'm thinking... thinking about that. You're at least getting a cloth, aren't you? Exactly, exactly. Or I could just play the colonist card and get eight money. Which seems quite nice. So yeah, I think I'm just going to play the colonist to take eight money. Done. Temples. It is a uh, a, a favourable diplomatic thing to copy the colonist there. So it's a pretty good card. It's a seven seven money, mm -hmm. isn't it? For everybody else, eight for me. Sounds good to me, all diplomat. Mm. <laughs> oh, I, oh, that's right. I can either copy an architect or a colonist. Yep. You only have one salt. I know. <laughs> um, okay, I'll do the colonist. New colonist, new cities, place. Or take five. Okay. We'll take some money. Seven, that's seven sister she, is that how you say that? Yep, sister T or whatever it is. Doubloons. Doubloons. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when Puerto Rico came out for about two years afterwards, we just called everything doubloons. 
doubloons. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to take money as well. Everybody's diplomating my uh, my colonist. I've got some money. <laughs> How can you not? Well, exactly. It's a shame I can't diplomat your diplomat to diplomat my diplomat. Yeah. <laughs> can't do that. Can't do that. So now that I've got all the monies, um, yeah, I think I think we might do this prefect. So I I am going to produce in an active province, and. If I produce down here in Phoenicia, then I'm going to get the cloth and nobody's there, so nobody gets anything else. In fact, it says if you choose Phoenicia, you are. Oh, I've got the Prefect's Magnus card. Completely yeah. forgot about that. So you that. get an extra. So I'm actually going to get two cloth. There you go. I'll take that. Clang. Yeah, that's definitely a good move. Right. Okay. <clears throat> so now I've got this cloth. What do I have here? Okay, I'm gonna I need to get some resource here. I'm gonna play a Mercator. And what do I need? I'm gonna get a couple. Let's see, do I, I'm gonna get some brick because you need brick for everything, mm. it seems. And then definitely need some brick. Yeah. There's a comment in the chat about the live scores. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the live scores. Um, not so I can check on how the other players are doing, just more because I like to see the direct impact of what I do. So I like I like it when I when I buy a card or I make a move and it, it tells me what the impact of that move was in terms of my points. But yeah, that is an option that you can turn on or off within the game, which is quite nice because I know I, I like to have it on, um, but other people prefer to to turn it off. Have you got it turned on on yours, Tom? Yes. Right. But because I, I think really I set it for the it game. Up. I think you set it for the game. Rather than a, All right. rather than an ind individuals, I think I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a nice reveal at the end of Concordia, but I wouldn't say it's like I would go to the trouble of turning it off here. Like you say, mm. it's it's nice seeing that you're making some kind of difference. Yeah, or yeah. no difference at all. Am I? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've I'll just finished a game of um, Bonfire, which we've been playing asyn asynchronously over on Yucata for about a week, um, and going into the last turn. I was on more points than anybody else and then the final scores came in and I came third and I'm like what so in that particular case the live scores gave me a false impression because what happened is I ended the game and I was like I'm on 90 points and that's way ahead of the other players and I was like I've got this sorted and then the other players had these bonkers crazy last couple of turns <laughs> got way way more points so that the live points were accurate I just underestimated how many points the other players were going to get in the last couple of turns. So, so Prefectus Magnus is now with Alex. Right, there's a knock at the door. I'm probably going to ignore it. Yeah, because I'm all, I'm all wired up and microphoned up. Um, so hopefully they'll just leave it outside the door. Although if the bell starts ringing, yeah, they'll probably just leave it there. Most most delivery people now in the UK just leave it in the front door and walk off. So. Right, whose turn is it? It's yours. Is it mine? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was, yeah. I was, <laughs> I was, I was wittering away. <laughs> getting distracted. Um, I had a plan. The plan was to play the Mercator card. And I'm not going to sell the cloth, or I am going to sell the cloth. Oh, do I sell the cloth? Yeah. Yeah. Just, I need to look at where my boat is. Oh, my boat is there. And I, I've now got three movement points. One, two, three. 
You can't get both of the cloth cities in one. Yeah, okay. So... Well, but then again, if I send that... Mm, oh, no. Oh, 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 I'll do that. Right, so I'm selling one of the cloth. I have sold one cloth. Right, I am going to buy brick. Now, how much money have I got? I've got 22. So I need at least one. Probably two. Probably three. Uh, maybe four. It's probably too much, but that's okay. You've been waiting five minutes for me to take my turn, so I'll, I'll just go with four brick. <laughs> right, done. Brett says it's bound to be a board game. Nip, somebody nip and get it. It's not a board game. As far as I know, it's not a board game. Um, yeah, it's something that Vicky ordered yesterday from Amazon. Other delivery services are available. Right, I think I'm going to finally move around here. I'm going to play my architect. And let's go... I'm going to go... Oops. So building in Thessalonica and Apia. Thessalonica is... Thessalonica? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Expensive buildings. Uh, yeah, very expensive. Um, it's worth it, though, in the long run. They're poor. <laughs> the sooner you get them out, the, um, they start producing. I'm going to prefect again over in this region. Get some bricks. You mean you mean just oh, before I nice. build my uh, my cloth city? <laughs> <laughs> that, that old chestnut. Um, okay, so yeah, I think I think I'm going to architect as well. Although I've missed the boat on this a little bit. Um, I mean, I could. Hmm. Um, so I've got a brick and a cloth. Uh, that also gives me a brick and a wheat. Is there any other place that I can build? Uh, yeah, but I can't get to two of them. Oh, can I? Oh, no, I can. Yeah, so we're going to move that boat to here. And I think if I've got this right, I can build in there. In Miletus and Italia. There you go. We're everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it's also nice with this interface that I can... Um, well, first of all, you see how much money you're going to get if you choose the other action of Prefect. Um, but there's also... Here, I can see my scoring. So I can see exactly how many cards I've got of each of the different types of scoring and that gives me some idea of um, you know where I need to be diverting my efforts so I'm in four different regions at the moment I think I'm in a prefect and get some money and reactivate everything reactivate nice so that's seven money Ka ching I think I'll trip you. Ooh. Just going to get you that card. Oh, lots of green forum cards are coming out. So these are one-shot cards? Yeah, one-shot. So you can choose when you want to use them, but once you've used them, they're discarded. Ah. Place one colonist for five money. Wow. Tom's, uh, Tom's alchemizing brick into salt again. Party you smash brick. anything in if it turns into salt. <laughs> True. <laughs> smash the bricks up, paint it white, nobody will know. Right, okay, so I think if I prefect, I'm going to produce a good in an active province. It's going to be here. 
and this is going to get me two money because of my special ability. So I get a wine, I get a wheat, and I get two money. Yeah, I'll have that. I'll take that, thank you very much. Um, oh, is it my turn? I think it's my turn. It is your turn. Um, I'm going to Prefect as well, because I have Prefect as Magnus right now. Yeah, so you'll get double the production of whatever area you choose. Oh. I'm going to assume that you're going to choose Macedonia. I might be wrong. I'm gonna actually gonna produce in Pontus. Pontus, yeah, to get the to get the salt and the salt two wheat. and the yeah. Although Macedonia is pretty nice too. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna architect. I'll move you there. I think. Oh wait a minute. I turned a brick, didn't I? I turned the wrong thing into... I turned a brick Maybe into I'm... salt. Yeah, I should have turned a cloth into salt. That's what I meant to do. Okay. <laughs> well, I can still... I could Mercator, or I could just... Let's just activate that province then for now. You're prefecting as well. Big That's money good. to be had from Prefector. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> Although, you keep the Magnus, don't you, if you do it for money? Correct. Yeah, you Wait. only pass the Prefector's Magnus if you use it yeah, to produce. Yeah, used it. So I'm going to Diplomat, and I'm going to copy Alex's Prefect, because I've heard bad things about Tom's Prefect. <laughs> and I am going to produce, and where am I going to produce? Uh... It's going to be Thracia. So Tom's going to get a metal and a brick for this. Nice. But I'm going to get a bazillion resources. Yeah. A lot of stuff. I got a full warehouse. Time wow. to spend. Okay, let's see. I think I'm going to architect again. Keep moving. Moving around if I can. Um, yeah, having a second architect card is very powerful. And, okay, I think we're going to build here. Alright, so we've got two brick cities in Athene and a Mastris. Okay. Finally getting that brick in for that Mason card I bought yeah. ages ago. Okay, I, I think, think this was the plan last time. I wanted to build in these places. Now I can afford it. But I can't afford to buy a good with my forum tile. Oh, don't build there. <laughs> oh. Right. Sparta time. Yeah. Although I've miscalculated the money, I couldn't have done it anyway. Um. Now then, do we... Oh, I really wasn't going to do that, but I might now have to. So I'm going to Senator. And I am going to buy another Diplomat. And I am going to buy the other Architect. Done. Bought another couple of cards. Uh, 
I'm going to play that mason card, so I'll get two brick. So that produces in all of your brick cities, doesn't it? Brick cities, Yeah. yes. this one do mm. okay if i can afford this action i'm gonna try my catering currently got too many try buying Yeah, I think that works. Try selling some cloth. I've got some money now. Sell three cloth for 21, buy two wine. Nice. Nice, nice. Right, well, I'm... I'm going to architect. I'm going to move this fella down to <coughs> here. That's going to use a metal and that. And then I'm going to use my boat. You can move one. Where can I get to? Uh, I can get to... Oh, right, so that's going to use the metal and the wine. Oh, well, that's no good. No, that's no good at all. Let's undo that. Um, where's the other wine places? There's one. And there's one down there as well. In Zagris. I think that's where I need to go. So yeah, two down there. That's going to use the brick and the wine. I want to save the food and the tools for building colonists, which means I've got a brick left. So where can I go that only requires a brick? There isn't anywhere that only requires brick, is there? No. No. I don't think okay. so. So it's where do I want to go for the future? And that will be probably there. Okay, and then I'm just going to build in Zygris. Done. I can't even remember what a good winning score is in this game. Over a hundred? No idea. I think I'm gonna go ahead and Tribune. Um, I only have a Senator card left, but I don't think I can afford anything. So we'll just Tribune. See yeah, it's really is. nice when you pull up the card display that it 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 tells you what you can afford. It greys yeah. out right. the resources that you're missing. So it, it just does a lot of that mental gymnastics for you, so you don't have to do it. Oh, okay. I think I'm gonna take. Publius, I could place a colonist for five money. Yeah, yeah, I was looking at that huge. one. If you've got the money, it's really good. I think we're gonna go for a boat. think yeah I'm gonna stick with I think your action Tom is to oh. scupper the move that I'm about to make is it Wh whatever it is because that that's what you've done the last three turns <laughs> yeah, <good point. laughs> and who says there's no player interaction in dry boring euro games <laughs> <laughs> I I th 
think I'm wise. Okay, so Brett has just oh, checked his BG stats. 135 is his highest score in Concordia, but that's without any expansions. So, yeah, I don't know if your average score goes up with the Salsa expansion. My gut feeling is that it does. Build in Alexandria. Okay, so I think I'm going to Tribune. I don't think I want to do the other things. Even though I've got a diplomat. No, we're going to Tribune. So I get some money. And I take which one of those cards? Well, Spurious is nice because it literally just take one salt. I can understand that. That's nice and easy. And we are going to have a colonist and it... Oh! Do I want another land colonist at this point? Yeah, we'll have another land colonist. Okay. That is my go done. Okay, I think I'm going to prefect, maybe? I need some resources. I'm back to the no resources game. Um, okay, I'll prefect here in Macedonia. Yep. Just a couple of a wine. Couple of wine. Wine o'clock. I think, I think I'll prefect as well. Prefect in a cheer. Yeah, that's really good for you, isn't it? It's quite good with the Magnus. It's yeah. Wow. Cool. Um. Well, in that case. <clears throat> it's 10 money now for a prefect. It's got to be done, hasn't it? 10 money's a lot. Yeah, we'll have 10 money. Thank you very much. All the monies. <laughs> oh, I have the Magnus card now. Okay. And everything's just reactivated. And everything's just reactivated. Great. Okay, yeah, we'll do it. I got my pick of the litter here. Um... Gotta do Pontus, I think, again. So I'm loaded up. Loaded up with resources now. Right, let's start thinking about a game plan. I mean, I get, I've got six cards if I trip you. I'm not too excited by the forum cards. green aren't they yeah they're nice but yeah i'm not desperate for any of those i would get a couple of money from the tribuning i think Salsa was the first this. expansion for concordia back in the day I think it was. Unless one of the maps. Was well, the yeah, there's probably a, probably a map or two. A map first and then, then Salsa. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to buy cards. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, I'll Which pay. What are you buying? Just for a brick. 
I'm buying a slightly better Makata. Yeah. And a Weaver that isn't really benefiting me. Okay, but that's the Weaver goal. Because <clears throat> there's only one of it, them in the game. It's Mercury points. It is. Well, is well, it? Makata is. Yeah. Weaver's Minerva points. Right, okay, yeah. Okay, right. I had a plan, and that was to... Because uh, I've got two diplomats, so I'm going to diplomat the prefect. And we're going to produce in Asia, which I think gets me three cloth. Yeah. Done. I like that. Oh, but I have no room. I think i got to give up a brick here. No room in the warehouse. No room. Oh, I guess it just automatically discards. You don't have a choice. <laughs> okay. Uh, where's the other... Oh, he's there. Hmm. I think I'm gonna architect again, but I gotta decide where I'm gonna go. So which is the one? It's Mercurius, isn't it? Which is for different types of production building. Yeah. Not counting salt and not counting brick. Oh no, it does count brick. Yeah, it counts all five of them. Yeah. There's, yeah. there's one of the gods that's, isn't it, everywhere you've Jupiter. built, just apart from bricks. Yeah, Jupiter is for each of your houses in a city that does not produce bricks. And you, you can see that by the iconography above each city. There is like the uh, the five pillared building or a single stone column, and the single stone column means it's a brick city, and the other icon means it's not a brick city. Oh, architect's uh, coming out. I see. I really regret not having another architect mm. or diplomat. Probably paid way too much for that cloth city, but here we are. <laughs> So, how many colonists have I got on the board? Four. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to prefect down here, I think. In Egypt? Just wheat and assault. Maybe I'll be able to afford a colonist. Right, well, I think... I think I was going to architect. I think... Oh, but then again... Arg. No, I'm going to make it. I'm going to sell... Now. Definitely selling one. Probably just want to sell one. So I'm going to sell one cloth... But I'm going to buy how much food? Two, three, four. Four seems excessive. Well, let's go for it. Got loads of money. Right, there you go. John's joined in the chat and Patrick's joined in. Thank you very much for joining in. Hope you're enjoying the, uh, the playthrough. Concordia is one of those games, um, I've got all sorts of plans for the channel over the next few months and one of the crazy plans that I had um, was to spend, to pick a game that has multiple modules or multiple expansions and then spend literally all day playing it, multiple games, and Concordia was one of those. Um, might yet happen, but yeah, if I can find people crazy enough that, uh, you know, one, one Saturday or something like that, just get people around sit down and play four or five games of Concordia and live stream it all day. Uh, we might be completely sick of the game by the end of it, but <laughs> <laughs> it's just one of those things I, felt I, I fancy doing. A 
Okay, I'm gonna play a senator card here, and I'm gonna go okay. for. What you gonna buy? Oh, is it too late to get a colonist card? Maybe not. Um, I think I'm gonna go. Yeah, you don't. You don't want that colonist card. In fact, I don't think you can buy the colonist card. No, um, you, you haven't got a cloth. Well, I. Um, my forum tile lets me. What is it? Let me read it here. Oh, I can you... use replace any additional good with any other good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's Alex's turn to mess up what I was gonna do. Yeah. So oh. From that sound effect, I think I gotta go colonist, and then I'm gonna get the other yeah. Mercator. No, I'm I'm definitely collecting Mars cards. <laughs> And I was about to buy that myself, so. Yeah. Sad times. Oh, there's another one. But it's really expensive. <laughs> really, really expensive. Wow. That's a wheat and, and two cloth. And two cloth, yeah. Yeah. Diane's in the chat as well, and Mark as well. Diane, Dan, Dan's coming over. So, Diane, what I'll do is I'll send you the Gaming Rules Private Jet. Um, and I'll, I'll send it over there, pick you up, and bring and bring you here so you can join us for the all day Concordia day. <laughs> yeah, the private jet is um, yeah, it's currently in for repair. Yeah, has been for the last three years. I do have an official gaming rules helicopter though. I, I always joke that I'm saving up for a second helicopter, but I do actually have an official gaming rules helicopter. Um, so I'll, I'll 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 tell this story while while Tom's taking his turn. Um, it's it's been a sort of running joke of mine for years that I've that I'm saving up for this this helicopter, uh, and I remember when I was talking to Isaac Childress um, and I was doing a bit of work for him, um, and what he did is that one year when I went to Gen Con, he actually gave me a gift, and it was a little package that he'd uh, and and it was a helicopter, a little helicopter with like pretend diamonds in the side, and he said here's that diamond encrusted helicopter that you've been wanting to buy. So yeah, I I have a little. A little model helicopter with gems in the side from Isaac. So, uh, very nice of it. Right, what's Tom done then? I've tribuned. Tribuned. Got You've been card. picking up some more. Four some cards. cards back. Right, okay. So, I was going to buy that card. Do I still want to buy that or do I want to do something else? I think I might do something else. I might wait. It might be architect time. Yeah, it's going to be architect time. So we're going to move this boat to here, and I'm also going to move uh, this one to here. Oh, in fact, I've got more movement points, haven't I? I've got four. I has four movement points. Let's move it to there. Okay, and then we're going to build, I think I can build in both of these. Yep, I can. There you go. Done. Right, let's see what that's done to my school. Yeah. How many different regions are on this map? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 regions on this map. Yep. And again, this is a map for three to five players. So because we're playing with three, it is quite open. It would be a lot tighter with five. I think I'm going to architect. I think he's going to come down here. And oh, I've got to tell it. I want to use a forum card. Yes, I'll build in some salt. Okay. Yeah, I've got my forum card that gets me a salt. Completely forgot about that. Um, okay. Do need some brick. 
Could Makita. I've got all this food. Can't really do much with the senator. Could prefect. Yeah, I think I'll prefect. And I'm going to produce goods here, which is... Yeah, two cloth and a money. That's good with me. Lots of cloth. Alright, two money and two brick. Not much to do with that. Um... By prefect, I can get six money. Six money on offer. Wow, I've already used both my prefects. Okay, I'm gonna have to diplomat. Um, that prefect card you just played, and we'll get some money. A couple bucks. I think I should prefect over here. Get me some resources. Mm, I keep meaning to build there. <laughs> and then I just never got around to it. Uh, it's a very busy place. I mean, yeah, what well, do you a get? A trade in and out of there. You get a salt, a cloth, a brick, and another cloth. It's yeah. A good place. It's a very good place. Uh, I'm going to Mercator. We're going to sell some of this cloth. One or two. Hmm. Two. Yeah, we sell two cloth. And I think we're going to buy some metal this time. Um, so I'm going to need one for my next colonist. And I'm going to need probably three in total. Yeah, that'll do. Sold the cloth, bought some metal. Now, what to do with it? See, I'm going to Mercator as well. I'm going to sell off my brick and... Hmm. Should have bought more. I'm going to buy some metal here. My architect. I can buy a thing, right? When I play an architect card, I can buy a good. Okay, that's quite nice. Right. Try and be in some more places. Let's see if it works. I can undo if it doesn't work. Yeah. Alright, so you. Why do I want you to move? I think I can afford that. How do I? Oh, I have to tell it I want to use the forum card, of course. If I buy those and go in there. That should be nice. I've built. Okay. Now, Makata and Architect. Don't want to either, so I'm just going to play Colonist. And did I do that right? I think I did that wrong. I needed to put it on. Ah, 
Place new colonists in your cities. Ah, yeah, I remember the colonist card allows you to place new colonists anywhere, doesn't it? No, I'm going to take the nine money because I'm greedy. <laughs> there you go. Tom zoomed ahead on points. That last move that you did got you a lot of points. I'm in some new places now. I must have a lot of gods that want me to be in new places. I should really keep trying <laughs> it. So I'm going to go ahead and Tribune. Mm. That was some pretty decent form cards out. Yeah. Hmm. Take the bonus good from any active provinces. Is that that's all the provinces that are active right now? Uh, I'm assuming it's one? one of them. Just one of them? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I get to choose one and then take the bonus. Out. Yeah, okay. I mean it does. It does say from any active provinces. Yeah. So. <laughs> which is a little bit odd, but I can't see how that could be as good as that. <laughs> right. That would yeah. be amazing if you if you could get that on your first tribute of the game. I will. I will do a quick screenshot of that. Uh, if anybody knows the answer to it, let us know. But I'm going to take a quick screenshot, and I will report that to them. If if that is a bug in the in the in the uh, the app, I'll report that to them. But yeah, if anybody knows if Tiberius should be just one province, I mean it's got to yeah, be. It, it could just it could just be worded like any of the available provinces. any of the active provinces. Yeah. Yeah. Although maybe fact, it is all of them, and it's I'm amazing. I'm almost tempted to take it just to see what it does. <laughs> well, let, let, let's post it on the on the Discord channel. Yeah, if, if you take it and it and it does work yeah. like that, whether that's the rules or not, that would be an amazing win. Yeah, that's that insane. would be amazing. Yeah. It's the only chance that someone has to win that way. <laughs> before Paul fixes it. This one's pretty good too. When you play an architect card, build one house without paying money. That could be useful. Okay, we'll take that one. Um, okay, am I Magnus? I'm not Magnus. You are not Magnus. Alex is <laughs> Magnus. If I'm Mercator, things are really expensive. Can I? Oh, I have got cloth. Okay. Is Fintus still about? It is. It is? I was going to buy it about an hour ago. <laughs> I remember thinking about it. I'm going to go for wine this game. Yeah, and then an hour later. change of plan. Uh, so if I diplomat, I can diplomat that Makata. So Makata in town. There is. Um. And then if I do that, I then architect. Yeah, oh, I could tribune and get another one of those. Oh, agonizing <laughs> decisions. I think I am going to do that. Yeah, I could tribune. A tri tribune would actually get me another forum title, and these are actually quite nice. Yeah. So well, yeah, Numerius I'm... at this point is really good as well. For... I think I'm going to tribune. I hear Tiberius is really good. Yeah, you've got to try it out for. <laughs> we can't go to the end of this game without seeing if it works like that. I got too nervous to take it. Um, yeah, it's either that or the or the just the nice easy take a brick and a wheat. But I don't really want that. But that one's quite nice. The numerius take two money for each province with one of your buildings, and I have quite a few of those, so I think that's the one I'm going to take. Um, At this point, that's a lot of cash. Yeah. Done. And he takes the lead by a point. <laughs> I 
Okay, I think I'm gonna prefect since I have Magnus. I'm gonna go. I gotta go Pontus. It's just I have the monopoly on Pontus here. Yeah, you get <clears throat> lots of stuff. Ooh, I got a thing. You did. You got some wheat. Let's see. Can I afford cards? Ooh. Okay. Buying these prefects might be better than just buying a load of Minervas and not being any good at any of them. I'm going to buy some prefects. Saturnus is a strong scoring card if you can be in lots of different areas. Yeah, it's my best thing at the moment. Right, so that's shuffled cards down a bit, which means that is there and I'd be a fool if I didn't buy it. So I'm going to use my forum card of Spurious to take one salt. Yeah, I think that's done it. Yep, I have a salt. Uh, I'm then going to play the senator and we are going to buy that colonist and Ooh. I was actually going to buy that but now I'm thinking about it I might buy that I might buy the console instead yeah let's do that and let's pay for that with break there you go Done. More cards purchased. So there's only five cards left on the offer. Oh wow! And as soon as, as, soon oh, as those wow. go, it's game over. <laughs> oh no! Okay, Peter has just checked the Tiberius card. The physical copy of it says province. So I will report that as a bug for the digital version. It should just be province. Nuts. But apparently there are various threads on BGG about it, so... Yeah, not sure why. If the card says province... And it's fairly clear. Played a colonist card. I'm going to get some colonists out here. money do you really need in this game? <laughs> <laughs> a lot. I don't know what to do next. Let's just do a thing. What's ha what's going on in the forum? It's not that exciting. So it's a busy time for green cards again. We had a run of blue cards at the start, and then that's it. They just all disappeared. It's all green yeah. after that. It just depends on which order my things activate. And a tribune. Try that. And activate that. And then I can afford a colonist. Yes. It all worked out. <laughs> I could take the forum card and activate it before I had to choose whether I was paying for a colonist or not. Oh, nice. Right, okay, that's useful to know. So they are usable immediately after taking them. Yeah. Before even finishing the current action. 
yeah so the the re the one resource i had left was automatically turned into salt because it's all i had right but okay. then i chose then i chose the forum card and because i think that's like when you played the tribune card so that yeah. just happens straight away yeah okay so i, could, I so am I going to something. i don't need to diplomat the colonist i've got my own colonist i'm going to use a colonist to take 10 money ka -ching. done Peter's gone back to the uh, the day of old um, 70s sitcoms in the chat. Good old Frankie Howard. Was it up Pompeii? That rings a bell. Slightly before my time, I think. I think I was a kid when up Pompeii was out, if that's what it was. Oh, I forgot about my... So if I have a green forum card, is it automatically going to play? No, I think or you're going to have to click it? on it. You have, yeah, you have to go into your menu and select it. And it should come up with like a, a check mark and a little purple forum square in the bottom right corner. like the, To just confirm that you want to use it. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, so I built in Spart... To, uh, for I didn't have to pay ten money because my forum card. Oh, we got it for free. Nice. I got it. Yeah, just had to pay the resources there. It does and mean then... it's going to cost me fifteen to build in there now. I think we might forget that. Build somewhere else instead. Where do I want to build? I know what I want to do. What do I need to do with it? Metal, two wine, two brick, and a wheat. So, I need two wine, two brick, and 22 cash. Hmm. Might be able to do that. Has it moved on for my turn? Nope, it's still your turn. Oh, I don't know. What have you got in the bottom right? Um, I hit confirm, but then it gives me a notification that is in another language. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> is it in Klingon or Dothraki? Yeah, Dothraki, I think. And con um, let me. Hmm. You might have to go back out to the lobby and come back in. Okay. Okay, let me go out to the lobby and okay. come back Let's in there. Happens. Yeah, they have just released, I think, the Japanese version of the game, so unless some Japanese has drifted in, <laughs> which would be very unusual. I think one of the downsides that the developers of this game have got is that they're using... Um, uh, third party to provide their service for the multiplayer aspect of the game which means unfortunately mm. they're reliant on a third party um, yeah. and it's not ideal but they don't have the capabilities I believe to host it all themselves and they are aware that there are a few issues with it hopefully we're not going to have one of those okay let's see if this will work now dun, dun, dun. Confirm. No, it's still giving me the same. Okay. Hmm. Let me. Can you do a screenshot of that for me, and I'll 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 report it to them later. Yeah. But obviously, for now, we need to somehow get past that. Okay. 
Let me just... And if anybody watching has had this issue before, then please let us know how we can fix it. <laughs> we're probably only a few turns off from finishing it. Well, maybe. Depends how many cards we all buy. Well, hmm. I've, I've certainly got big plans for the next three turns. Maybe I can... Okay, let's just try doing one. Ah, there you go. Oh, that worked. That worked. So it only... I tried to build in two cities, which I yeah. have everything for, but um, looks like it only let me do one for so now. We... Were you also trying to build in Salamis? Uh, yeah. And you did have that. Yeah, you've got the wheat yeah. and the money. Okay. But right. yeah, if you if you're able to do a screenshot of that, send it to me over Slack or something like that, and I can uh, I can post it to them because there's obviously okay. some kind of glitch, and it's giving mm -hmm. you an error message in another language. So. <laughs> okay. I I want some resources. I'm a smith. Right, so I am doing the Makata. Right, what was it I said I needed? Two wine. You said you just wanted an inventory full of wheat. And two brick. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was two brick. Uh, it was one... Yeah, it was two brick. Okay, and I also need to have 10, 18, 22 money left. So I can afford... No, I can't afford. I've got just about the right amount. Okay, nobody do anything to mess up my turn, please. Because <laughs> I've <laughs> mathed it all out. Oh, it's not going to work. I've just realised. I've just remembered a rule. You can't have two colonists on the same road. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's messed me up. Alright, let's see. Tom, you wouldn't mind moving that guy in Macedonia, would you? <laughs> He's <laughs> going to move sooner or later. <laughs> he must be bored by now. I'll, I'll ring him up and day. tell him that he's left the oven on. He needs to go back home quickly. Yeah, he's probably been there for about 50 years. Ah, so Tom's able to build in Salamis. Oh, that was me. Oh, no, sorry, that was you. you you've been able to yeah. build there now. Maybe it was because you were using that forum card that got you a build for free. I wonder... Yeah, maybe, maybe that, it was... It got confused. Of operations there. Hmm. Yeah, I got confused, maybe. I got confused, even. I've done some catering. Right, I want a personalised forum card that says to choose one colonist on the board and move it one space in any direction. Uh, I think I'm going to still do my plan. It's just not quite as good as I thought it would be. So this airboat is going to go... to here and then this one is going to go to here and I've still got one movement point left so I think I'm going to move oh that's not that that's that um, whew, do we want that or do we want that I think we want that. Okay, movement done. I probably had an extra movement point, but never mind. Um, I'm going to build in there. 
I'm gonna build in that. And I think that's it. Yeah. Done. Is that all regions? No, I'm in nine regions. Which is the region I'm not in? Yeah, that one. I'm still not there. I'll get there. What is it? Ak Akia. Yeah, I'm not in Akia yet. Because Tom's, uh, Tom's colonist is blocking the entrance. <laughs> <laughs> Very private place. Yeah. <laughs> Full off. No riffraff allowed. I'm going to prefect in Phoenicia here. It's good with me. I get a cloth. Get a cloth. So Saturnus is if looking I can afford to good. Do what I wanted. Jupiter's looking pretty good as well. Jupiter and Saturnus. Jupiter and Saturnus. Got any of these? Yes. That's going to give me some money. Oh, got that as well. Got a got that. If I do that, if I do that. That vintner is still there. <clears throat> that card's been there since the start of the game, I think. The farmer and the vintner have been at the start of the track since the start of the game. Nobody wants them. Some architect in. Copying my architect. <laughs> uh, now he's moved. I can now build. I can actually do it. Oh, is it worth it? It probably is. You can walk through. You can walk I through. I just, I just. Oh, you're right. I could have gone there, couldn't I? Yeah, yeah. but then I wouldn't have been able to build in Thessalonica no, I mean, like, as well. Like this, to to architect again, you could have gone past him. Yeah, but I wanted to build direction. in Thessalonica and Delphi. Yeah. At the same time. And I and I couldn't. Um that is gonna get me a, a another region. It's gonna get me another one on Saturnus, and it's gonna get me another one on Jupiter. It, it's just a case of how many turns have I got left. But I think I'm gonna do it. I think I am gonna architect. And we're gonna move that one to there. And to be honest, I don't think I need to move any anywhere else, but I'm going to move this one all the way down here just because I can. <laughs> and I'll move that one to there just because I can. Right, and then we're going to build in Delphi. Done. I believe that is all regions. Yes. Okay, happy with that. <laughs> Maybe, let's see what's up here. It's a nice map, this. It's a nice mixture of land and sea, which I guess is important for all Concordia maps. I think I'm going to buy the console card and get another Jupiter card in my hand. Oh, that's the one I was about. That, was the, <laughs> that was the other thing I was about to do. Because, <laughs> yeah, Jupiter for me is nine Jupiter points. Back. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, Mark's saying Anachrony, that's the other game that I was going to do possibly a, an all-day thing of. 
play the base game first, then basically play three or four games of Anachrony back to back, mix, adding a different expansion each time. Same with Terraforming Mars, that was another one I was going to do. Always play with Prelude, but then the next game would be with Venus, the next game would be with uh, Colonies, the next game would be with whatever the latest one was, can't remember. So yeah, lots of ideas. The age-old problem of too many games, not enough time. And that's from somebody who spends all week working in the in industry of board games, and it's still not enough. <laughs> still not enough. How many turns do you reckon you've got left, Tom? Well, there can't be many. No, there's, I mean you've got twelve of your buildings on the board. There's basically two. There's basically only two senator actions, really. Yeah. Two, two senator actions if somebody's got the resources and it's gone. I'm going to prefect. And. Turmoil. Thank you very much, Punch Blood Champion. Yeah, Turmoil is the, the latest expansion, which is, I think, the only one I haven't actually played played all of the other expansions right okay so tom's got loads of money you both got loads of money oh it's a case of well i, I can get loads of money so if i play my numerius card i think that gets me 18 money yeah i think that just got me 18 money um which means i can then play the mercator card and just buy stuff. So I need to buy definitely one of those. In fact, I'll buy two of those. Um, yeah, so two of those. And that's that and that, and that's that and that. Because it doesn't mean somebody else might completely mess me up. In fact, let's go back. <laughs> I'm going to buy three of those. And also one of those. I think. Done. I mean, in fact, I can't Senator next because I don't actually have the Senator card in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Okay, I think I'm gonna pref I'm gonna use my diplomat to prefect. Copy Tom's prefect. Copy Tom's prefect. And salt could be pretty handy right now. We'll do that. Um Pontus Perfect. again? Pontus. Pontus yeah. again. Okay. It's one with lots of money, but not many resources. going to do, Tom? I've got no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Praying for inspiration. Do 
don't know if there's a way I can see what cards you've got. Mm, I can see my cards. If you press on the people in the top right. People in the top right. Oh, yeah. got. oh, there we go. All right, there we go. It's got everything. Right, okay. So I can see what cards you've got in your hand and what cards you've played. So you've got four Prefect cards in hand. Wow. I don't think the Prefects do any good now, though. Oh, wow. Scoring. Right, okay. Yeah, it's all there. Tells us how we're all getting our points. Yeah, interesting. What are your options then, Tom? Not very many. I think anything. Gets everyone else more than me, I think. Or... Yeah, by the time Except it comes for... around to my turn, everyone will have resources yeah. to buy the Senator cards. And it'll end before it gets to me. So the person who ends the game gets the seven points, but then all other players do get one more turn. But by then, all of the cards will have gone. So it's a case of what can you do architect-wise. Here we go, yeah. So you're not quite in all of the regions yet. Yeah, there's one that I'm not in. It's just, yeah, I'm pretty stuck. But maybe I should just... Yeah, if I buy resources, then... The things I buy the resources for won't be in Senator anymore. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's all there. All the details about all of the scoring for the other players is there. It's nice. It's a good interface. And did you say there was, a, there was a history log as well somewhere? Uh, yes. I think you, you've you've looked at it earlier. There, logs. The thing on the right is the chart. Yeah, left hand side, top left, the hourglass with the magnifying glass. Oh yeah. All, all players history. So it's got a full log there of everything. And you can choose different visual styles for the board. Quite nice. And they've got quite a few of the maps on here as well now. I've got an idea, Tom. Roll the dice. That's what you want to do. <laughs> how, do you, how do you roll a dice when there's no options to decide between? I, I'll, I'll roll the dice for you. <laughs> the dice are telling me that you need to play card number four. He's tribuning, if in doubt. I think it's over. Right. Well, I can't Senator, because the Senator card is in my discard pile, but I need to Tribune to get the Senator card back. Um, and let's have... Do I want that? Sure. Let's take that one. Uh, oh, and I can place Colonist. Is that what I wanted to do? 
Oh. <laughs> yes, I think it is. I think it is. Okay. Done. My last colonist is on the board. Okay. I forgot that I had this forum tile that lets me place a colonist for five money. That would have been nice way early on, but I guess better late than never. Um... I can only place it in these cities up here, I guess. Actually, I'm going to redo my turn here. I'm going to play this okay. console card that I have. And yeah. I'm going to buy... I, mean, I think all I have is enough for Saturnus. You could steal the Diplomat from me. I he's he's sure halfway to I my am. house. You intercept him <laughs> and say, no, you don't want to go there. Come to the stage. Come to the here instead. <laughs> yeah. So I think that score is for each region that you're in. Saturnus is for each oh, region that you're each in. Each province. Yeah, and I know you're in all of them. So I, I'm in all of them. Yeah. Play you're a little in, defense there. You're in five, five of, of them, them, I think. Yeah. So yeah, it would have been. It's a ten point. Uh, every Saturnus card is ten points for me. Whew. Clearly, I need to play Concordia more. It's one of those things I like doing. Is just to try and get in all of them. Even though it's it's not always the best thing to do, but in this game, because I didn't get any of the artisans, um, Jupiter and Saturnus are, and Mars oh, are, the, are the cards that I wanted. What did Tom do? Tom bought... Copied, copied the console. And he bought the other one. Oh, <laughs> it was next. devastating. It's, oh, it's everything that I've been saving up for. You've nearly, you've nearly, you've nearly got the vent, though. I can't, I can't afford it. Of the wine, okay. So, so I need a new plan. Um, okay, <laughs> right. Let's have a look at my cards. Um, so I can't get any more points for Saturnus, I can't get any more points for Mercurius because I am producing all five different resources. I've got all of my colonists on the board, so I can't, I can't do that. It's, it's just Jupiter. Um, it's, it's building in non brick cities, is the only thing that's going to get me any points. Uh, because, yeah, the Vintner is not... I mean, I must be in one wine city. Yeah, I'm in one wine city. So the Vintner is going to get me four points if I could actually buy it, but I can't. Um, and the Farmer is going to get me... How many wheat cities am I in? Uh, one. Yeah. So, I mean, those two things combined... I, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'm going to get that many more turns. So we'll play the console, and I will take the farmer. Done. Oh no, I'm in two, I'm in two farm cities. Yeah, so that's okay. I just need to try and get in some more of them. But as soon as that Vintner card goes, it's going to be seven points to whoever does it. But I don't know whether anybody can do it. No, nobody can do it. Nobody's got wine. Me. I have one wine. Oh, you've got the salt. You could and do I it. have a salt. Yeah. And I'm going to do it. Okay. So I diplomated your console. Yep. Yeah. I went for the Vintner. Yep. Yeah. We've just taken it, and that's got you the seven points. Well, apparently, I've got three farm cities. Oh, yeah, I've got three farm cities. That was a really good move, then, me buying that card. <laughs> I didn't realise. <laughs> but I'm actually in three farming cities, so... Yeah, so all the cards are gone. 
Tom, your last turn. Here it goes. Oh, I'm in two wine cities. You are in Thessalonica, and... It says I'm in two. Huh. You're in Where's two? the other one? Yeah, I'm only seeing one. Me too. Is this on your scoring? Cities with... Yeah. Cities with wine, too. Where's the other one? Yeah, it's saying you're getting eight, eight points from your Vintner. But... Another bug, maybe? Hmm. Eight. Might have to, it might be another bug because I'm not seeing <laughs> unless salt counts as wine. Here we go. Danny's saying in the chat, oh. the salt counts as wine. Thank you very uh, much. Oh, it counts as maybe your highest. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, because it, it can't count as, I get. I don't think it would count as all of them, but it, it counts as one. Yeah, so you can allocate the salt cities to whichever type you want. Thank you very much, Dan. So, yeah. And Sarah uh -huh. counts as wine. Right, oh, what's Tom doing is his really last move. Architected. Is it going to be a game winning? <laughs> nope. That, that ship sailed a long time ago. Right. <laughs> well, I don't know, because I'm not doing very much on my last turn. You've already got more points. Yeah, I just didn't know if you were going to get a load more points then. Um, so this is my last turn of the game. And... Basically, I can just get 10 money, which is one point. Or I could prefect, which because I've got the prefect as Magnus, that is probably going to be more than. Yeah. So if I prefect and get that, that's three cloth, which is definitely more than one point. Okay, and we're done. So yeah, we all convert all of our stuff to money, and then money converts to points. At least I broke 100. <laughs> 139. So that's beat and Brett's high score of 137. But yeah, that nice. was um, that was without the expansions. So, ah, it's, a, it's an excellent game, isn't it, Concordia? Really good. Very good. But yeah, I think we're all roughly the same skill level. None of us had any like expert tactics or strategy. We were all just kind of like doing what we could at the time. And uh, yeah, the forum tiles definitely make a difference. I really like them. Yeah, it's just a lot better. I think so. I, th I think the the encourage well, first of all, little individual powers which mix up the game, but also the encouraging of not just playing all of your cards and then taking them all back to get money. So yeah, that's quite nice. Yeah, especially if you're getting a power out of it as well, mm. and starting the game with a power. Yeah, nice yeah. As well, having something is always nice. Is always nice. Yeah, I haven't, I, I haven't played it with because um, every expansion is compatible with Solitaria. Yes, and both ways of playing Solitaria. So you can play the uh, the cooperative game, or you can play Solitaria with any of the expansions. Yeah, because there's yeah. a fish okay, market. Apart, in one, apart from the team game, but that's yes. I, th I think the 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 co-op is kind of like an adaptation of Venus's team game, anyway. Right. Okay. But yeah, yeah, obviously, you, you can't play a team game on your own. No. But you can do everything else. <laughs> well, you could. You could try. <laughs> um, but yeah, if we just look at the collection, so um, Salsa is available. Uh, Venus, it looks like I've got Venus. Okay. I didn't realise Venus was out, but it, it's there. <laughs> um, Fish Market is there. And then the map packs, we've got Britannia and Germania, Gallia and Corsica, and Egyptus and, and Crete as well. So this, this is all of the stuff that's out. Um, if you are interested in, in the app. But anyway, thank you very much, Tom, for joining me this afternoon. Thanks for having me. Uh, and thank you to Alex for, for uh, agreeing to join us for this game. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's yeah. fun. And uh, yeah, we're, we're all done. So I'm going to disappear now, um, go and get some food, and then I'm heading out to the to the games club tonight. What, what games have you two got planned in the near future? I've got to make a video for Nightmare Cathedral. Right, you haven't Pretty done that much. yet. It's just arrived. Nice. Right. Well, yeah, I'm gonna find out all about it. Okay, Alex, get in like... video form quite quickly. What, what have you got planned, Alex? 
Oh, I've got like seven async games going on on BGA, so okay. I've got to pay attention to those. <laughs> I probably stretched myself a little too thin there, but... Yeah, I talked about that in my recent video log of um, playing, that, yeah. playing too many different games on BGA to the point where two of them I had absolutely no idea what I was doing and just went, I'll do my turn and then and then finished. So and yeah, be done with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely but too I'm many. I'm in the same spot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool, right. Well, yeah, thank you very much to everybody for joining us today. I hope you've enjoyed the playthrough. Uh, both me and Tom were only able to make this content thanks to the support of our patron. So a big thank you to all of my patron supporters. And if you like the content I make, you can support me at patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. And Tom, yours is? Patreon.com forward slash slicker drips. There you go. Um, and yeah, thank you very much to all of our respective patron supporters for your support and allowing us to, uh, to make videos like this. But for now, we'll disappear. Take care, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.